to Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Um, I'm just observing what's happening in America with an increasing level of horror. Uh, I'm not taking any sides. Um, as I heard recently in the commentary, it's like uh, a choice between two absolute corrupt scumbags. Um, but I like to uh, tell the truth where I come across it because it's being so uh, suppressed. And um, yeah, so let's just uh, let's just go into it. Uh, I want to uh, uh, share a conversation uh, that the True News people. Um, had about all the mail-in ballots and uh, and um, electoral fraud uh, and just how the the mass media uh, is misrepresenting this. Uh, so I want to uh, post that, but I just want to show you a couple of things before that. So this came in today and it uh, it goes fully in line with what uh, the true news people were talking about. So a man in California allegedly found thousands of unopened ballots in garbage dumpster and the workers quickly tried to cover them up. So, yeah, federal investigation into irregularities with mail-in ballots at the Lucerne County Bureau of Elections has turned up nine discarded ballots that were cast for uh, President Donald Trump. Um, so there we are. That just uh, adds to it. So I just want to share this one, uh, uh, one thing. Uh, this came across my bow today. Uh, of course, we hear about um, uh, Richard uh, Spencer, the notorious white supremacist, and of course uh, he's put his voice behind Trump, and therefore that's evidence that Trump is a racist. Well, what are the Democrats going to do with this? White supremacist who organized Charlottesville race riots endorses Joe Biden. Trump is la labeled an avid racist by political opponents and media, but Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are endorsed by one of the most notorious racists in America. Um, yeah, so there we are. We're going to show you some, some unusual things that are happening across America. You know, we've talked about the mysterious seeds. Uh, hundreds of thousands of packets of seeds have been mailed from China to Americans, directly to their homes with their name, street address, sometimes even their telephone number on the shipping label. Well, there's something else being shipped in from China. Fake driver licenses. Yes, uh, this is uh, from Fox 5 New York. Shipments of nearly 20,000 fake driver's licenses recently seized at Chicago Airport, and it says most of the shipments came from Hong Kong and mainland China. Now, 20,000 fake driver's licenses. Right. Mailed, I mean, it was seized at the O'Hare Airport. Doc, why would somebody in China be making tens of thousands of fake U.S. driver's licenses and shipping them to Chicago? Well, Let's face it, Chicago is the communist capital of America. Um, now, you're going to have other outlets out there and say there's no clear relation to what I'm just about to say. But let's face it, they're not shipping uh, fake driver's licenses over here so kids can buy liquor. They're shipping fake driver's licenses over here so that people can use these in order to impersonate other people at the voting booth. That's what I believe is at the heart of this, Rick. Possibly also to obtain firearms and ammo. Right. I mean, that driver's license right there is Michigan. Yes. And these driver's licenses, they from they were from all over the country, Florida, Michigan, you name it. It's, it's not just happening. Like this, this uh, shipment that was seized in, in Chicago. Uh, we'll show you the next one. This is from... Uh, also from Fox 5. Fox 5. Thousands of fake driver's licenses seized at Cincinnati. Area port. Same thing. They came from China. And then the next one is the uh, Courier Journal in 
Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky, where we have communists, Marxists, Black Lives Matter trying to get a riot going in Louisville. Uh, U.S. Customs and Border uh, Protection Agents in Louisville confiscate 5,000 fake IDs. And we could show you a lot more. There are stories like this all over America. Someone looking at this, and if you were to flip it, let's say it was happening in China, and this was facilitating a rise in crime in China. China might accuse America of, of a, a crime akin to shipping weapons. I mean, if you think about this, if these driver's licenses have contributed to crimes, as in the last story, it noted that uh, one of the recipients of one of these fraudulent IDs was a pedophile. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, if, if this has contributed to that, you could see this as an attempt to clog up our criminal justice system, to undermine our country, even so unrest. I mean, if, if this was coming from us, the Chinese would accuse us of this. These licenses, majority of them came from China. Is China not paying attention to what is being sent out of their ports? The Chinese government has their hand in everything. So I, I don't doubt the Chinese government knew about this, but you have to start thinking, at what point seeds, IDs, uh, and the ideology guns. itself. When, guns. Guns, yeah, junk. Remember the gun shipments that were found by the Border Patrol? Asian hornets. What else has come to the United States? China flu. The flu. There's a lot of stuff coming over. You can be certain that the Chinese uh, triad uh, mafia is involved in this. Mm. The triads are uh, ruthless mafia crime gangs that... I mean, even the Russian mafia is afraid of the Chinese mafia, the triads. They, they, they have reputations of being extremely ruthless and brutal. Uh, I would suspect that the triads are involved in moving these fake driver's licenses into the United States. Now, a few minutes ago, Doc said he was certain, certain that these fake driver's licenses are being used for the purposes of voting. Well, Doc, you're wrong because oh, okay. Reuters, nobody, I mean, we're talking Reuters, the okay. news agency. They looked into it, Doc, and you're wrong. Oh, really? Okay. They did a fact check. You're okay. wrong, Doc. All right. Now, how did they check that out, Rick? Um, Why... Why would you have a fake driver's license? Where would you go to, to check that fact? Right. I, I, you go to ask somebody where, with a fake driver's yes, license? Yes. Where did the Reuters investigative reporters go to fact check this conspiracy theory that fake driver's licenses from China are being sent here for the purposes of illegal votes on Election Day? Well, they reached out to uh, a spokesperson in Illinois, uh, one of the bastions of, uh, of, of good election conduct, uh, and they, the spokesman, Matt Dietrich, told Reuters that there's no way these could be used for voting because it's the, uh, it's the signature, the voter signature that's verified, not the actual photo ID. So, so the base part of the argument is that, oh, well, these can't be used because it, these don't, aren't the signature of the person. So uh, do you have to prove your identity when you vote? No, because the Democrats have fought that for years, state after state. You, you need a driver's license to get on a plane. You need a driver's license to get... Now, oh, that's another thing. Are these driver's licenses... Uh, uh, do they have the, um, you know, the holographic... Uh, the seal. Seal that's necessary, the real ID. Oh, that's true. I hadn't thought about that. The real ID is the... Uh, the transition ID yes. that we're making for travel yes. uh, so, this year. Uh, that's a, a good fact. Would these do these fake driver's licenses? Are they compliant with Homeland Security? Are they that good as fakes? I, that's something. Well, I'm sure Reuters would find out. Uh, but Reuters said they're not going to be used in fake voting. Don't worry about it. The election uh, is not going to have any fraud, uh, and these fake. These fake driver's licenses, they're for some other purpose, but not for rigging the election. Oh, well, I'm, Who I'm would rig I, the election? I'm glad I was proven wrong, Rick. Yeah, Doc, don't come up with these, cause, because Reuters says it's a conspiracy theory being pushed by right-wingers 
that the Chinese are working with the Democratic Party to rig the elections. Can you imagine something that outrageous? The only reason why you have a fake driver's license is, doing, is to do something illegal. And the most illegal thing that you can do with a driver's license, a fake driver's license, is impersonate somebody else. And that could happen in the voting booth. Let's just be honest about it. And, and like I said, we're talking not you know a couple hundred licenses, not even a couple thousand. We're call, talking tens of thousands of drivers that have licenses. been found. Yes, those are the ones that have been so found. So most likely, it's in the hundreds of thousands. It could be millions. Right. We don't know. You know, you think about this with the seed story and this story now, because we don't know, and because you now have the threat. The checking process probably got more thorough, but by the checking process being more thorough, the Postal Service itself is probably slowing down. If the country is going to be relying heavily on the Postal Service for votes and, and other means for the election, couldn't you now make a postulation that if these are coming from China, China's involved in this, that this is how they're interfering in the election? Yes, you could make that argument. By disabling or, or limiting our Postal Service, they have in turn attack the country's election process. Well, let's take a look at something that involves the Postal Service. This is number 12. So uh, This came you, out of Wisconsin. Right. U.S. Postal <clears throat> Service investigates mail, including absentee ballots found along the road in Altagami uh, County. Uh, this is from uh, Wisconsin. That's U.S. Postal Service investigates mail, including absentee ballots found just basically dumped out along the road. Um, and this is one of several reports around the country right now of mail just being dumped. Uh, there was one the other day in Los Angeles about uh, buckets of mail being left out in a parking mm -hmm. lot. And I think we have another one from uh, uh, Pennsylvania today that was yes. uh, mail ballots uh, a military, uh, from military personnel that were being uh, dumped out. And so if you can't see that there's an agenda someplace in here with fake driver's licenses and ballots that are being Real ballots. Out, real ballots being dumped out, and not being sent to uh, be counted, then, you know, even Stevie Wonder could see the, the right. fake of all this. Uh, so. I want to point something out because uh, the, the media, the news media has been bashing President Trump over the issue of mail-in ballots. And they're trying to make him sound like he's, um, you know, totally against people exercising their right to vote by mailing in their ballot. That is not what he's saying. What he's saying is absolutely true and accurate. We have never had mail-in ballots. What we've had in this country are absentee ballots. That's right. And now, Rick, you probably need to explain yes. to folks what the difference is. So an absentee ballot, an absentee ballot is very simple. You, you notify the election board in your county that either you're not going to be in town or you're, you're not going to be available, or for it's gotten to the point now, it's just, I don't want to go, you know, I don't want to go out to the polling place. I just want to vote by mail. Right. They don't even re require a legitimate, they used to Reason. be, it used to be you had to, you know, you were going to be in the hospital. You were taking a vacation, you're a something like that. Or right. Member. So anybody, any voter can request an absentee ballot. Uh, I voted in the Florida primary hmm. several months ago by absentee ballot. Um, I, it's an easy way to do it. So right? what's the difference between an absentee ballot then than, than a mail-in ballot? Because I, because I had, me, I had to request the ballot. Okay. The election board then mails an election ballot to, to my address. I fill out the election ballot. I sign my name to an envelope and send it back. All this is verified. On election day, if I had voted by absentee ballot and then decided to go to my local polling place right. and try to vote, they would have stopped me. They would have said, Mr. Wiles, you're not eligible to vote here today. You've already voted. You requested an absentee ballot. In other words, you're on the voter registration rolls. They're going to have a record of you requesting an absentee ballot. And that one was mailed. Yes. And, and that I mailed it, gets it back. Counted, whether it gets counted or not at that point, uh, whether you mailed it back, it doesn't matter really. Uh, you requested it and you, you exercised it. So that was my vote. Yes. When you request the absentee ballot, that's your vote. 
what President Trump has been trying to, uh, you know, convince the, the American people, and I'm, I'm not sure if he's done a great job in the way he's explained it, what he's saying, are you, a week ago he said something about, the media said, uh, Trump tells his supporters to vote twice. You know, when I first heard it, did he say that? Did he tell Republicans go out and vote twice? No, that's not what he said. When you listen carefully to what President Trump said, he said, when, it, because what the, all right, what the Democrats are doing, the Democrats are not saying everybody gets an absentee ballot, everybody requests a ballot and it's mailed. The Democrats are saying, we're going to mail ballots to everybody. Everybody's going to get a ballot. We're just going to put gazillions in the mail, mail them out, and you mail it back in. So what, what President Trump has been saying is that is so open for fraud because, first of all, you don't know who receives the ballot. Yes. You don't know who fills out the ballot. Right. Okay. But number two, you could receive a ballot in the mail that you did not request. You could fill it out and mail it the day before the election day so that they receive it in their office after the election. No, it would have to be received by on election day. But at the polling place, how would they know that you mailed it, that you mailed it? Because all you'd have to all you'd have to say is I, I didn't get an absentee ballot. I mean, I didn't get a mail in ballot. I want to vote right now. And they're not going to deny people the right to vote. Right. What about the possible scenario where are, people instance, are going to vote twice? Yeah, I agree with you that they're going to do that. We just saw some stories on disruption of the United States Postal Service and ballots being uh, uh, missed. What about a scenario where people have sent in their mail-in ballots and they don't arrive until after Election Day? And, you know, it's two or three days after the election. And let's say it's a state like, I don't know, uh, let's say Nevada. And it's a close race. And then a few days later we find, oh, here, here's a whole bucket of mail-in ballots. You mean ballots. like uh, Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, like we did down here. They, yeah, were, the car. they were finding uh, uh, ballots all over the place for, days for later. For a week or, or so after the election. And let's be honest that the United States, the, most of the mail carriers belong to a union. And that union this week encouraged their members to vote for who? Joe Biden. Right. Not only encouraged, the... the Union told the postal workers, your job depends on Joe Biden winning. Yes. Now, you can take that statement two ways. Uh, we have a copy of the letter, uh, compliments of a True News supporter who received one of these letters because he is a member of the union. And uh, this is a, this is number 12 a B. 12B. So we'll show everybody what this letter looks like from the now this is from the letter carriers uh, union yes it's for the uh, american postal workers union and uh, this this listener did take it as a threat uh, well, well control finds it this the listener said that uh, there we go he was encouraged the, the text of this says that he, they're encouraging uh, him as a member of the union to vote for joe biden he said that a vote for joe biden is a vote in defense of your job a vote for Joe Biden as a defense of your job is the exact quote. He said, that I construe this as a threat. He also said that uh, his union dues we used to pay for this. So th this letter being sent out and that um, he felt as if, he, you know, if they were to find out he wasn't going to vote for the, the candidate they've picked, that he would be at risk of, of more than just potentially losing his job and be ostracized for the very union that's supposed to protect his job. So the National Union of Postal Workers has endorsed Biden and their members are the people who are handling the mail-in ballots. Does that not sound like there's room for corruption? Well, especially after yes. learning we're, we're hearing about trays of ballots being thrown into ditches. I don't think it was the firemen who threw those into the ditches. I believe it was the postal workers. Now, there's something... I've not verified this. A, a True News uh, supporter sent this to me uh, just in an email. 
and I've not verified it, but I'm just going to put it out there. Maybe somebody out there can tell us if it's true or not. But what I was told was that there, that the barcode in the postal system for sorting the ballots. Yes, I know where you're going with this, yes. That in that code, there's an R or a D. Right that signifies Republican or Democrat. Now, if that is true, the sorting equipment could be programmed to sort out Republican votes, and they those ballots just happen to find their way into the dumpster. There have already been reports, though, Rick, of some ballots that have been mailed out, some absentee ballots that have been mailed out that are different depending upon what party that you're registered with in that particular state. So, for instance, I'll use Oregon again as an example, since it's a leftist government there, uh, that they would send out uh, ballots, even absentee ballots, and one would be one particular shade or have a different color coding on it mm -hmm. than another, depending on what your party affiliation is. And, of course, and Rick, you experienced this yourself, yourself mm -hmm. in the election about ballots not being counted, being found in sure. a safe, and, you know, uh, but the possibility exists that maybe all the Republican ballots somehow ended up in the back of the closet there and didn't get counted. So uh, the, the real possibility for fraud is there at many levels, but on the mail-in ballot aspect of things, the fraud is so overwhelmingly possible, you, you can't even imagine this at so a, many levels. It is Go a vote disaster. In person. Go vote person. The story is true, Rick. It was actually out of Florida. Uh, the Spectrum uh, News, Bay News 9, was able to confirm this. Uh, a, a woman uh, in Manatee County, on the on the side of the, the coast here mm -hmm. in Florida, uh, was able to, to show that uh, mail-in ballots, as part of an expedition process, the envelope was where you'd have that R or D. R, obviously, mm -hmm. containing Republican, D uh, being Democrat. Well, Michael Bennett, uh, the Manatee County Supervisor of Elections, said... Uh, that they never pay attention to this. They didn't realize that this would actually allow someone who, who knew this little uh, flaw that they all they'd have to do is look at the envelope, the very envelope that the mail-in ballots being sent to individuals. It, it will never actually reach anybody. They've uh, this county at least has said they will uh, immediately change it. This was as of the beginning of September. But uh, how many other counties around the country uh, either are knowingly not going to do anything about this or are completely oblivious to the fact that the ballots are marked? Mail-in ballots have already gone out of the mail in a lot of states. Yes. So it's ripe for fraud this time. 